What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a bit of retro and video game hunting. So if you guys wanna see how we got on this week, stick around. As always, smash the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, ring the bell, and let's check out this week's footage. What is up guys, it's currently five past six in the morning. I've just come off a 12 hour night shift. I'm pretty tired. Um, I've stopped by High Street Car Boot on my way home to see if I could pick up some gems, uh, maybe some games for the collection, maybe some stuff to resale. So let's get inside and see what they've got. Two hours later. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. I was literally seconds behind these two lads. One of them picked up like 60 PS4 games. The other one had a Ruby Red Pokemon Ruby boxed. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was literally seconds behind. Sorry I didn't get no footage in there. It's absolute carnage. Everyone's climbing over each other. It's madness. I did pick up a little stack of games. I will show you what I got right now. I picked up Harry Potter Book of Spells on a PS3. I don't know how much value is in it. It's 50p. You couldn't complain. I had to pick it up. I also picked up Lord of the Rings, the two towers on the PS2. It's not in the best nick. The disc is okay. It's an absolute banger. I'll probably go in the collection. God damn. Another PS2 game here, I picked up King Kong on the PS2. Um, again, it's not in the best nick, but the disc is pretty clean, so it'll probably go in the collection. I might look at how much it's worth, but it will go in the collection. Area 51, now this does have a bit of a cold following. It doesn't have the manual, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's still a decent pickup for absolutely nothing. I paid two quid for these four PS2 games. And the last one is Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. This will probably go into the collection because Prince of Persia is, is, is a classic. Um, yeah, so £2.50 spent. Not too bad, but like I said, gutted I missed out on them other games. I also picked up uh, Goosebumps 2 DVD, brand new. This is for my collection, putting a bit of a um, Goosebumps collection together. But I'm going to go home now because I'm knackered. Look at my eyes, absolutely battered. So yeah, I'm going to bed. Several days later. So guys, it's around quarter to five on a Tuesday afternoon. It's absolutely hammering it down outside. Just about to drop Sophia off to dancing. Then we're gonna pop into the charity shops in town, see if we can find any games or anything in there. Do you think dad's gonna find any games in the town? Maybe. Maybe, very optimistic. Let's go.
Right guys, so there was a fair few games in some of them charity shops and if they weren't priced how they were priced, they probably would have picked a few of them up. See, I don't want to pay a lot for these games, but I can't begrudge the charity shops I wanted to charge as much as they are because they are raising money for uh, good causes. But you know, I, it was just a bit too too much for me to pick up. If you guys think I should have picked some of them games, I'll stick in the comments below, tell me how stupid I was. I'm happy, I want to know, I want to learn, I want to I want to get better at this. So we did pick up a few things. Sophia, my little helper, is going to show you which ones we picked up. And the first thing we picked up wasn't actually a game, it was a DVD. I'll show this sort of camera. So we picked up Super Mario Brothers. Now this film is horrendous. It's terrible. But at the same time, I love it. So I had to pick it up for 50p. And it still goes for about three or four quid. So not a bad pickup on that one. The next thing we picked up was a PS2 game. It was the Prince of Persia Sands of the Sands of Time. This is the not to be sold separately version. I don't mind. Another Prince of Persia game in one week, which isn't bad. It still goes for about three or four quid, but I paid 99p, so they can't complain. I also picked this up from a pawn shop, which is mad, because they normally price their uh, games pretty close to uh, eBay prices. And the last thing I picked up was this NBA Street on a PS2. It's clean, it's uh, in good nick. I paid 49 pence for this game. Again, in that pawn shop, which is mad. And this thing sells for about five to six quid on eBay. So for me, that's a good, that's a, that's a win-win. So yeah, only the three pickups today, but I'm pretty happy. And again, if I missed anything, or if I should have picked something up, please let me know. I really want to learn. And I'll see you in a bit. Right, guys, not a massive pickup this week, but we will take a look at what we did pick up and give it a rough valuation of everything. Right, guys, so this is everything we picked up this week. Not a massive haul, but it's okay, to say the least. Um, we picked up these four PS2 games at the car boot. Remember, I was really super early. I'd, I'd come off a 12-hour night shift. Um, I paid two quid for these four games, and it's probably about five or six quid in value. So it's, it's, it's okay, you know, nothing to write home about. Um, I also forgot to show you that I picked up this Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, one of them's worth a bit of money, but it's not this one. It's number two. Um, but uh, anyway, so you know, it's okay for 50p. I also picked up this Harry Potter book of spells for 50p. Now it's only worth about one pound fifty, but we'll stick it in the collection anyway. Uh, the Goosebumps DVD won't count. I paid two quid. It's worth about two quid, but this is for my uh, Goosebumps collection. I just needed to uh, pick it up and just happened to pick it up there. And then the other two games we picked up were Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. I paid a pound for this. It's worth about a pound fifty, you know, but it's a decent addition to the collection. And, you know, we're learning, we're learning. And this one I got a little bit excited about because I got it for 49 pence from a pawn shop. Thinking I got a bit of a deal. Goes for six or seven quid, but it's actually free for star. Sorry, NBA Street 2. It goes for a bit of money. This is actually only worth 50p, so I saved the penny on that one. And then Super Mario Bros. DVD. Now, this film is horrendous. We all know it's so bad, but I had to get it because I do love a bad movie. So, guys, I spent about five quid on all of this stuff here, which isn't bad, to be fair, looking at how much is there. It hasn't got a great deal of value, probably about 11 or 12 quid, maybe a little bit more if you're pushing it. But I'm still pretty happy with it. It's all going to go in the collection. Here we are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Retro and Video Game Hunting with Brad. If you have any advice for me or any comments, please stick them down below. I very much appreciate it. Smash the subscribe button, as always. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.